Till now, you might have already be aware that the GPT 4o model is released by OpenAI and it got released recently, 2-3 days ago, on the 13th of May. This GPT 4o can work for all domains like text, vision and audio. Here in GPT 4o, O denotes for Omni. So this model can take any combination of text, audio and image and can generate any combination of text, audio and image. Also, we will be able to access real-time information from the internet. OpenAI has announced that this GPT-40 model will be made available free for all, although there will be usage limitations on the free ChatGPT users and for the paid ChatGPT users, these limitations will be lesser. It will depend on the current usage and the demand. And if the GPT-40 is unavailable at any moment of time, then we will access the GPT-3.5 by default. Now coming to the accessibility of this GPT-40 model, they are making this available slowly slowly for all the users in order to control the traffic and the load on the OpenAI servers. So you can access this by going to this chatgpt.com, this particular URL. I will share this link in the description also. So the login is required to use this. So once you are logged into the account, then you can check by clicking over here whether you got the access or not. Even I haven't got the access for GPT-40 as of now on this web application. But alternatively, you can access this through the OpenAI Playground. So let me show you on the Playground itself for now. So once you are logged in to this platform.openai.com URL, then you would see the interface something like this. And from this drop down, we can select the GPT-40 if it is not selected already. Now here in this users part, we can write our prompts. So let's see if it is connected to the internet or not. For that I will write what is the date today. Let's hit run now. So it is saying I am unable to provide today's date as I don't have real time capabilities. So which means it is not connected to the internet yet. Maybe this access is also not provided to everyone yet. Now let's try to produce some image. So I will say, can you generate an image of a car running on highway? Let's hit run now. So this time also I got this message, I can't generate or display images directly. So this functionality is also not available as of now. Now let's try to upload an image and check the response of that. For that I will click over here and I will say upload image. Now here I have the image of one shoe. So I will select that and let's say open. So the image is uploaded and here I will write what does this image represent. Let's hit run. Ok so it has generated some response here. So here it is saying this image represents a sports shoe specifically a running shoe which is correct and the shoe is designed with a black upper accented with blue and white stripes and a prominent N logo. So it has detected the N written over here as well and it is saying it is indicating likely new balance brand shoe. So it has detected correctly the brand as well. So of course it is a shoe from the New Balance brand. So it has worked perfectly. Now before moving forward, I will advise you to like the video and subscribe the channel for such tech related content. Now let's try to upload one more image. So I will click over here, I will say upload image and I will select one another image. I will write again what does this image represent. Let's hit run. So we have got the response. So it is saying this image represents a sports shoe, specifically a sneaker, which is correct. The shoe is predominantly white or off white and designed with a minimalistic aesthetic. The upper portion features a breathable mesh material. And at last, it is saying the design and logo suggest it is likely a Puma brand shoe. So as we can see, in this particular shoe, the brand name or the logo is not written explicitly but it has detected somehow that it is a Puma brand shoe. So this is awesome, don't you think so?
because it identified the company name from the design itself which is not even explicitly written there so till now i have got this much access only once i will have further access to audio video and others i will make more videos so stay tuned for such awesome things